Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to create a transparent file in Adobe Spark Post, so stick around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools, and tricks to help you share your story. Today I'm going to walk you through how you can create transparent content like watermarks, logos, cutouts of yourself, things that you can add to layers on top of other projects. You can also add them into video layers like in Adobe Rush, kind of add your own little branding to it. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Adobe Spark Post. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I went ahead and launched Adobe Spark on the web here. We're going to start by clicking on the blue plus sign and go with a custom size graphic. It doesn't really matter what size you choose because we're going to create transparency. So it'll export with no background. Any size will work for this. I went ahead and created some logos beforehand. Now, if you are interested in learning how to create logos, I have a video you can check out up here as well as in the description below. So I have my logo. I'm going to go ahead and add it here. And what I'll do now is I can add other things here. Let's say this was a holiday themed um, logo, maybe add some kind of holiday to it we just had um, one big major holiday pass by let's go here and maybe let's go with maybe add a leaf or something kind of make it look either springy or fallish or whatever other holiday you want it to be so let's say i wanted to kind of just kind of add a, a little twist to my logo here let's go maybe add this here if my mouse will cooperate, here we go. Maybe add something like that and I'll go ahead and replace the color. And this is basically just making kind of an alteration or uh, like kind of a customized thematic to kind of holiday again. So now what I'm ready to do is actually download this logo that I can use as a transparency for other projects or videos. And here's the important piece here. When you download, you have the option to download JPEGs, PDFs, and PNGs. I'm going to choose PNG because this one gives me the option to, right here, choose a background type. Now, if I choose a solid PNG, it's going to save with that white background. So if I were to add that to a video layer, you're going to see the logo with a white box around it. And that's, I don't want that. So what I'll do here is choose transparent PNG and the file will be saved with the transparency. So let's see if we can pull that up here and let you see on my other screen here. And there it is, the logo. As you can see, it does not have that white background. That is how it will look like layered on top of another project or video. So now the next thing I wanna do is actually create kind of a cutout from a picture that I took a while back here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to projects and we're just gonna go ahead and start over here just from the start again and click on custom size graphic. Again, doesn't matter the size. And then what we're going to do is import the image. So here we go to photos and now we're going to upload. I'm going to pull something from my desktop here, some pictures that I've taken. I've got two different ones. I think I'm going to try. Okay, let's see if this one here, let's take a look. Okay. Let's go ahead and try that one there. All right. So here I have my image. I'm going to go ahead and just make it a little bit larger so we can see, make it easier for us to view it. And with this selected, I'm going to choose this remove background feature, which is in Adobe Spark. And what it'll do is kind of remove some of that color background. It is in beta version. And uh, this kind of looks pretty good. It removed that blue. So I can actually use this cutout of myself and layer it on top of videos or other projects. And what we'll do is let's make this just a bit larger. And because my hands are kind of cut right there, I may choose a different picture where I can see all my hands, but that's okay. Um, if I want to, I can actually crop this and let's see, let's bring it in a bit. So it's maybe just more of kind of my head there. And again, this is just one that I picked. I'm going to go ahead and go there and then click out here. And now the next thing, let's make just a tiny bit of adjustment just so it's a little bit larger here doesn't matter because it's not going to save that background. The same thing I did before, we're going to download and again, choose PNG, click start download. And again, we have the option, save with a solid background or with a transparent background. 
So let's go ahead and bring in the download here with a cutout. It was saved as a PNG. There is no background to it. I can go ahead and use it in other Adobe Spark Post projects. I can take it to another video editing tool like Rush or Premiere Pro and add this as a layer watermark logo, whatever you want it to be. And that's how you can create transparent watermarks, logos, cutouts in Adobe Spark Post. Hopefully this video was helpful, something that you can use the next time you're creating a logo, a watermark, a cutout of yourself in Adobe Spark Post. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel and then click on the bell to be notified for future videos. And please do share this with others. It helps YouTube share it with a larger audience. Thank you again for watching. Till next time, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.